On this edition of Coffee with Tea, I'm going to share information on how you can stay creative and retain information as you read books on this holiday edition of Coffee with Tea. So I'm going to share a couple of tips of how I stay creative, how I maintain um, information using a trigger book. This I want to share is my bookcase. You can't really see it all, but I have like two stacks of books here on top. I have one stack here and then I have another stack and then not to mention you can't see it down below but I have a stack of library books that I go through. I read on average maybe 25 to 30 books a year. I usually do a chapter a day. The 48 Laws of Power, I want to say it took me at least three composition, three composition notebooks to complete my notes. My library collection has grown. I have two bookshelves here I have in this house. There's one downstairs that's full. Most of these are my own books, but then I also have a collection of books that I have from the library, and I'll show you that in a minute. So again, here we are, still talking about books. I have a number of books. These are basically my library books. These are the ones that could not fit on the bookshelf. To add on to how I uh, really get into my books, what I created here, these are clear binders. I got these at Walmart. I have five of them. And I don't know, this one's not labeled. I go through, if I haven't done this already, is I go through and I inventory every one of the books. I write it down into an inventory list so I know exactly what bin has what book. So I, if I know there's something I need to find out, I can research it, find it. And that's how I stay organized. I read a lot. Let's expand upon my reading habit, right? I take my reading seriously. <laughs> I don't know if this came from the military or what, but I really do love my reading. and. I've read so many books, and I was, to, um, to be honest, I could not retain the information at all. So what I did was I came up with my own, I guess, reading assistance, but it didn't come up from my own idea. This was actually from Zig Ziglar. He mentioned it, first time I ever heard it. He calls it a trigger book. You have your book, say, this book right here. Um, I haven't read this one, but say you have this book, and you keep... A corresponding um, composition notebook handy so as you're reading this book if there's something in the book that uh, sparks an idea you write that the idea down in your composition notebook but you always have um, notes of what's been inspiring you so yeah that's what I do I have I, there's just a stack of these just a small stack but every one of these tabs is a book that I've read. And again, you can keep track of all the books by putting the name of the book on the outside, and then you read it, you write down the notes as you go along, and you're able to maintain the information as you read. So hopefully that helps for those who maybe struggle with reading and retaining the information. Take it another step further. Use your composition notebooks, that's what I do.